We are going to look at combustion reaction of our case. Not this. When a hydrocarbon burns in oxygen, that reaction is called combustion. Combustion simply means reaction with oxygen for hydrocarbons. Now, when an alkane reacts with oxygen gas, two things are formed. Whenever an alkane combines with oxygen, we have CO2 plus water. Now, let's take an example. Let's use methane. Let's see what happens. If methane, which is CH4, reacts with oxygen gas, we we'll produce CO2 plus water. Under exam condition, what the examiner would like to know is if you can write a balanced equation for the combustion of an alkane. Here we are using methane. Let's see how to balance this. When you want to balance the combustion reaction for our case, you can use the inspection method, which is looking at the equation and put the necessary numbers where necessary. Now, looking at this, if you want to get your answer quick enough, note this. The first element you should balance in the equation is carbon. After balancing carbon, balance your hydrogen. The last one you will balance should be oxygen. In that way, you will be faster. Now let's do that. Balance carbon first, balance hydrogen second, then balance oxygen last. Here, at the left hand side, I have only one carbon atom. At the right hand side, I have one carbon atom. Carbon is balanced. On the left, I have four hydrogen atoms. On the right, I have two hydrogens. So I'll put two here. So that two times two is four. My hydrogen is balanced. Let's balance oxygen. That's the last. On the left, I have two atoms of oxygen. On the right, I have here two plus another two. Total oxygen I have on the right is four. Why here is two? So I can easily put two here to balance the equation. You can see the equation is balanced. Let's take another alkane like ethane. We have ethane as C2. H6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I have two carbons, I'm going to have six hydrogens, as you can see, for an alkane. Now, if ethane reacts with oxygen, I'm going to have CO2 plus water. This is the reaction between oxygen and ethane to produce CO2 and water. But not this. When you have very little supply of oxygen, very little supply, instead of CO2 and water, you produce carbon and water. There are some cases where you don't have sufficient oxygen, but not too little. You produce CO plus water. But in the presence of sufficient quantity of oxygen, you are going to have the normal products which is CO2 and water. Now let's balance the equation for the combustion of ethane. Remember what I said? Balance carbon first, balance hydrogen second, balance oxygen last. There are only three elements here, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Now on the left, I have two carbons. On the right, I have only one carbon. Let's go to hydrogen. On the left, I have six hydrogens. On the right, I have two, so I'll put three here. So that three times two will give me six. Now let's balance oxygen. On the left, I have two atoms of oxygen. On the right, I have oxygen here. Okay, this is carbon. Oxygen here is four. Oxygen here is three. Here we have three oxygen. Here we have two times two, four oxygen. So we have four here, why we have three here? So total oxygen we have here is seven. We have seven oxygen atoms on the right, but we have two on the left. Now what do we do? We are supposed to have 3.5 here, which is 3.5 times two, give me seven. 
But as you know, in chemical equations, we don't use decimal numbers to balance equations. So what you will do is this. Since I have 7 here, and 7 is an odd number, assuming I have 8, an even number, I will divide that 8 by 2. That is 4, then I will put it here. So now 4 times 2 give me 8. Assuming I have 10 this side, I will divide that 10 by 2. I will put 5 here. Assuming I have 20 oxygen here, I will divide the 20 by 2 to get 10. Then I will put 10 here. But what I have this side is 7, a number that cannot be divided by 2. Whenever you get such a case, an odd number, what you do is this. Put that number, 7, divided by 2. Like a fraction. Leave it there as a fraction. It is allowed. But if you don't want it to be like this, you can get rid of these two. You can get rid of the fraction. What do you do? In order to remove these two, all you need to do is 2 times 7 over 2. If I multiply by 2, I will get rid of that. And that 2 will be used to multiply everything. If I multiply everything by 2, in order to eliminate this, I will have 1 here times 2 will give me 2C2H6 plus here I have 7 over 2 multiplied by 2, 2 will cancel 2, I will have 7, 7 O2 producing 2 times 2 here, I will have 4 CO2 plus 2 times 3 here, 6 H2O. So if you don't use this one, you can multiply 2 by 2 to get this, both of them. Whichever one you write, you are correct. Let's take another one. If I have hexane, hexane, let's write a balanced equation for combustion of hexane. Hexane is C6H14. Remember, if I have the general molecular formula for our case, remember it's CnH2n plus 2. So here, N stands for number of carbons. In hexane, carbons are 6. So if I have C6, how many H will I have? 2 times 6, 12, plus 2, 14. Okay. Now, if hexane reacts with oxygen gas, we form CO2 plus water. Let's balance the equation. Balance carbon first, balance hydrogen second, and balance oxygen last. On the left, I have six carbons. I'll put six here. On the, right, on the left, I have 14 hydrogens, so I'll put 7 here, so that 7 times 2 is 14. Now, on the left, I have 2 oxygens, but here I have oxygens, here alone, oxygen is 6 times 2, which is 12, plus, here alone, oxygen is 7, and 12 plus 7 gives me 19. As you can see, 19 is an odd number, 2 cannot divide it. So I will carry it as it is and put it here, 19 all over 2. This balances the equation because 19 over 2 is the same thing as 9.5. And 9.5 times 2 gives me 19. Now, if I want to eliminate the fraction, I can rewrite this equation by multiplying everything by 2 in order to eliminate this. So I'll have 2 times this, 2C6H14 plus 2 times 19 over 2. 2 will cancel, I'll have 19. I'll have 19 O2. Producing 2 times 6, 12 CO2, plus 2 times 7, 14 H2O. So whether you use this or this, both are correct.